In this tutorial, I'll create the linkage peg for the miniature train. Select New, Standard.IPT, Create. Start a 2D sketch on the front plane, which is the XY plane. I'll use the Line tool. Starting at the origin, I'm going to click and go straight up and put in a value of 0.325. Then I'll click the line tool again so that I can start back at the origin. I'm going to come out to the right. It tells me that the diameter is 0 0.0625. I need half of that, so I'm going to type 0 0.0625 divided by 2. And it gives me a value of approximately 0 0.031. Then I'm going to come straight up. This value here is 0.25 and I'm going to come out to the right. I don't know the distance of this, so I'm just going to come out a uh, little ways and click and place a line there. Then I can right click and choose uh, OK or Cancel to get out of it. Before I set this up, I want to show you one of the problems. If I were to come in and create an arc here and bend this up like this and then finish the sketch and revolve it around the axis, notice that there's a big divot right there in the middle, which we don't want. So I'm going to cancel that, and I'm going to come back and right click. I could either right click on the sketch to go back and edit, but I really want that just to go away, so we'll use the undo, and undo that part there, put it back in a front view. What I need to do to fix this is I'm going to make a circle. And I'm going to just start it kind of a little way down from the top of the line there. Then click and bring it up. When I get the green dot at the top, I can click to place that. Now I'll do my arc coming off the top to this point here. Bend it out and place it. And then I'm going to go up to the tools in the geometric constraints and I'm going to select tangent. I'm going to select the circle and the arc to make it tangent so that it's no longer going to dip. Then I can do a dimension for this arc here. And when I do, it should change the length of this line. I'm going to make that 0.1562 and hit enter. And so that's what defines how far across this is. We'll finish the sketch. I'll choose revolve. Select the uh, sketch here. Avoid the back half of that circle click on the axis around the center point, click OK, and this is our completed linkage peg. So I'll save and call it linkage peg and save. 